This is who I feel bad for. He's got the LBGT, right? Yeah. Is there, there's more every day, I know. But I'll tell you when it happened. It all started with the L's. And the L's are great. No one has, no one has a problem with the L's. I, like, so the L's were like, L's. And everyone's like, oh, yeah, L's. Great. You guys are really cool. You're great dinner guests. You know? Because they love knickknacking. Like, they always have interesting magnets. You know, it's like a Sylvia Plath poem on a mug. Like, they're good people, you know? In general, there's some asshole L's, but in general. And then uh, the G's came in. And the G's are cool, but they, they're male. So they're a little more aggressive, but they're, they're a blast. You know, they're like, hey, we're the G's. And the L's are like, hey, G's. What are you guys up to? They're like, you know, we're facing some discrimination. Why don't we team up? You guys have the Subarus. We got, like, raves. And uh, we're pretty ripped. And we're fun. We're hilarious. Uh, so let's do that. You know, we're a little unpredictable. We might have a code problem, but uh, let's all team up. And the L's are like, great. And at this point, everything's going great. And then the B's came in. The beast threw people for a loop because you never really know if you can go camping with them, but they're cool. <laughs> like, you know, they're like, we'll bang anybody. They're like, anybody? They're like, anybody. <laughs> and at that point, everything's going good, and then everything changed with the T's. The T's came in, right? And they're like, hey, we're the T's. And they're like, hey, what's going on with you guys? They're like, nothing matters anymore. I gotta figure out how to end this joke. <laughs> All right, so the T's come in, and uh, they're like, yeah, we're being discriminated against. And everyone's like, oh, we'll, we'll protect you, T's. And they're like, yeah, so let's all chop our cocks off. <laughs> and everyone's like, hey, whoa, man. What's going on with you? They're like, no, I'm gonna chop off my cock, and now gender doesn't even exist. Nothing matters. A four-year-old can be a T. Everyone's like, dude, can we kick out the T? They're like, no, he's already brought the Q's, the A's, and the I's. And they're like, we're gonna burn this bitch down. And you go all the way back to the L's, and they're like, we should have just knitted sweaters. <laughs> oh, fuck, that might be a fucking great joke, guys. You know, you hear all those letters together all the time, LBGT, LBGT, and you think it's just one big movement. It's not. All those letters are their own movement. They just travel in the same car together. So the G's are just driving the car. Of course, next to the G's in the passenger seat is the L's. Everybody likes the L's, except for the G's. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. I just know the G's don't like them that much. And the G's always say like little subliminal digs on them. It's unnecessary shit. It's not mean, but you know what I mean? They just be like, I wouldn't wear that. <laughs> the only thing that breaks the tension between the L's and the G's are the B's in the back seat. That's right, there you go. Everybody scream out when you hear your letter. If it's one thing that the L's and the G's agree on, is that the B's are fucking gross. <laughs> they seem greedy to the L's and the G's, you know what I mean? They're just sitting in the back seat like, yeah, man, I'll fuck anybody in this car. What's going on, man? <laughs> and sitting next to the B's, all the way in the back seat by themselves, looking out the window. That's the T's. Everybody in the car respects the T's, but everyone also resents the T's. It's not the T's fault, but everyone in the car just feels like the T's are making the trip take longer. <laughs> Anything the T's say gets on everybody's nerves. And then the T's don't even say anything bad. They should be in the back talking to themselves. Hmm, I'm hot. <laughs> Shut up. Shut the fuck up, okay? Just roll the window down, you bitch. I don't know what you... What? 
Can you pull over at the next exit? I need to use the restroom. There is not a restroom for you for four states, nigga. Will you just shut the fuck up so we can get where we're going? <laughs> and just when that car can't get any more tense, the cues are a hitchhiker that they pick up on the road. Some white dude in booty shorts is walking down the freeway. Jesus see him. Mm, that guy might be one of us. <laughs> hey, are you okay? You need some help? And he come over there with them booty shorts leaning on the window. <laughs> hey, what's going on, fellas? <laughs> Lady? Whatever pronoun makes you feel comfortable in the back. <laughs> yeah. I don't really know where I'm going. I don't know if I'm gay or I'm straight or whatever. All I know for sure is that um, get in this car. <laughs> and they make him get in and sit in between the B's and the T's. I feel bad for T's, but they're so confusing. And it's not all my fault. I, I feel like they need to take some responsibility for my jokes. Because I didn't come up with this idea on my own. This idea that a person can be born in the wrong body. But they have to admit, that's a fucking hilarious predicament. It's really fucking funny. And if it happened to me, you'd laugh, wouldn't you? That wouldn't be funny if it happened to me. I think it would be. What if, what if it did? What if, what if I was, what if I was Chinese, but, but born in this nigga body? That's not funny. <laughs> and for the rest of my life, I had to go around making that face. Hey everybody, I'm Chinese! <laughs> and everyone get mad, stop making that face, that's offensive. What? <laughs> this is how I feel inside. <laughs>